The following is a quick tutorial on how to make Arabic characters work properly on uh, Adobe CS6 Illustrator. Now you want to make sure first that the version you're working with is equipped for Arabic if you download it from uh, Creative Suite 6 applications you should be scrolling down to Illustrator CS6 and then skipping down this list to, uh, excuse me, uh, this one right here, Middle Eastern, Middle Eastern English Arabic. Download that and then make sure it's installed. Once it's installed, you want to go to Edit and Preferences and you want to select Type. You want to make sure that all the font names are being shown in English and then click OK. Next, uh, you want to open a file. A new file will be fine. It can be blank and the exact specifications don't matter at this moment. You then want to select Type and make sure that it's giving you an Arabic font in here. So scroll all the way to the bottom. Your system may come with more, it may come with less, but it will, if you downloaded the correct CS6, come with Arabic options. You should see them right about here. Select Adobe Arabic and let's start with regular. Great. Now, going over to Window, you want to open up the Type window here. It has a few options, but just clicking on Character should work all by itself. Make sure you have Adobe Arabic selected there as well. Also, you may want to set the uh, digits, either in Hindi version or uh, what they're calling the Arabic numbers recognizable in English. Over in Paragraph, you want to make sure that it's set to Middle Eastern Single Line Composer. And you want to make sure that you have right to left paragraph direction clicked. That's the same as this uh, symbol right here. Finally, over in Open Type, you want to make sure that you have Apply Ligature selected on, that you have Contextual Alternates selected on, and Discretionary Ligatures selected on. If you do, you can then move over to the text tool, create a box, and I'm bringing up some Arabic script here, just copying it, minimizing it, and pasting it into our box. Let's zoom in slightly on that so you can see what it looks like. But as you can see, the letters are moving in the appropriate direction. I'll hold up the script itself as comparison. They're flowing in the correct direction. They are connected where they're supposed to be, and you can now work with it in uh, Illustrator as you like. Take care.